C-E-O. C-E-O, come on. Once was outside and now we worldwide. C-E-O, come on. Once told the high, but you can't deny it. C-E-O, come on. The drink took some time, but now we on the rise. C-E-O, come on. If we unify, the squad will never die. Hey everyone, Jabali here, and I'm back with a review on a mini arcade cabinet that I actually ordered back last summer. Uh, and when these are up for pre-order, it takes a few months to get them. And uh, really interested in this one. This is the Egret 2 Mini made by Taito. Had a lot of Taito arcade uh, titles over in Japan when it was released back in 1996. And it was basically a competitor to the Sega Astro uh, City uh, cabinets. And, you know, they would add a lot of games to it. But what made this special from everything else was the fact that it had a rotatable screen that they also perfected on this as well. We'll go over. This actually comes with 40 pre-installed titles uh, ranging from Space Invaders, which was back in 1978, to Bubble Bobble, and a lot of other obscure games you haven't probably heard of yet. What's cool about these mini cabs is they're bringing back the arcade games from Japan, a lot of stuff that hasn't been released over in America. And this I had to order, and if you didn't know, you can actually create a English account for Amazon Japan, and there's a lot of items that'll tell you if it'll ship to America and to your address. I'll put that in the description below for the direct link. This was a bit pricey, because this is the whole collection. This comes with multiple controllers, additional SD card to add 10 extra games with the controllers are very cool. We'll go over those as well. I paid about $440. Let me double check that. Let me do my 43,403 N2, about 370 bucks. But for some reason, because of the bigger box, shipping from Japan this time around and handling was about 160 US dollars. So really pricey up there. But for what you're getting with this, uh, with all the extra controllers is, I think worth it. Uh, depends on you know what you want to collect. You can just get an emulator to play all these games yourself if you wanted. But you know another thing with arcade games and the beauty of these cabs is you're not you know expecting to sit here all day and play through all the games. But being arcade games, you're gonna run through them very quickly and and just enjoy them. Obviously, you don't have to put in tokens because kids of today will never <laughs> have to suffer what we did back in the day. If you lost in a fighting game, you know you'd have to go back and and get more tokens and add it in. So, but now this is, comes with everything standard uh, HDMI my out slot so you can connect it to a bigger screen if you want. It's got SD card slot for even more games. So, you know, a lot of these cabs will release stuff that say, hey, we're gonna add more games like the Neo Geo X and then they just kind of stopped, they didn't. So we'll see, so, ooh, okay. So we have a nice cool little magazine, Taito Station 50. I believe this is running through all the games itself. So this is actually very cool. I wish you could actually now with new iPhone apps, you can just, you know, take a picture or, Let's see, will this translate everything for me automatically? Usually it does with a text to tap feature. No, I'll probably just have to use the translate app, but very cool. It's, so it's basically running through all the different games and everything, but this is really cool. It's fully in Japanese. Obviously they did not decide to release this over in America. They were supposed to with the Sega uh, Astro City, uh, but they did not either from what I know. Nice little selection book of everything. Take this out and I have not touched this yet. I've had it for about a week now. It literally just released after the pre-order, so. First up, we got the Egret 2 Mini. This is basically a D-pad controller that you can attach to the USB or somebody can play on the stick itself that's directly on it or, you know, multiplayer, so. Oh, this one's big. This is the trackball and it's got a little turn knob that you can uh, play uh, additional games with, so. Very cool, and this has an SD card with 10 additional games. Arkanoid, one of my favorite games actually as a kid. It's one of the original games I remember playing way too much, where you got Strike Bowling, Marine Date, Birdie King, a lot of games, again, haven't heard of. Arkanoid sequel, Plump Pop, so very cool. Another little thing right there, and then another controller. So this is very well packed, actually. Oh, these are huge. So this is a little portable fight stick as well that we will take out the uh, physical stuff, the hardware, and then software I will do separately, but I will do some close-ups of some of the games. But yeah, entire game list here. Luckily, everything's in English in terms of the titles, uh, but a nice selection. Again, you're gonna spend, to go through all these games, probably 10 to 15 hours or so to run through them all and then have a nice little background for you. But anything else in the box? Yes, we still have some more. And you can order this separately. It's about $140, I believe, just for the cabinet itself you can get from Amazon Japan. Ooh, a... Taito 70th anniversary, I guess a Blu-ray or disc of some kind. So it doesn't say Blu-ray on it, which they usually will, but I guess we will open that as well. So, oh, and then we have these. Now these have these marquees and the little plastic marquee on top. This actually has a bunch of them. So this is pretty hefty amount of stuff. More Taito uh, paperwork. So it's a lot of stuff in this box. HDMI cord, of course. 
and a USB-A to USB-C. So luckily everything's coming out with USB-C now. The little marquee plastic holder, which all these little cards will go. This will go on top of the cabinet, so that's cool. Oh wow, this is actually huge. This is way bigger than the Sega. Oh yeah, that's a uh, pretty hefty size. And then this is probably another cable in this box here. You can't see it unless you see from an angle, but it has the screen that will rotate. That is pretty cool right there. So you can push it in, awesome, and then push it out. And then boom, play shmups and stuff. So that's actually pretty cool out of the gate. Pretty sizable, let's do a quick one. Let's unplug my Sega. So good on Taito, going bigger and better, boom. Oh yeah, much, much easier to play with. So standard buttons, you know, minis. Let's get a close up and take you through the rest of the hardware. back so here's close-ups of the egret 2 mini a lot bigger than the sega one you know taito arcade cab on the side right there and then has the usual that everybody else has and they seem to be like designed in the same spot so two usbs for additional controllers hdmi out headphone jack and then dc with usb c off and on switch right there and then that additional this is the first one that has this sd full size sd card slot so this will come with additional games that they've been promoting so uh and one of these controllers actually comes with 10 additional games right out of the gate let's go through all the extra controllers so these are additional they do not come with unless you buy the full package or one by one but obviously buying it all comes in one beautiful package so you just have it all for you so right here this will be just your standard controller box right there so many boxes oh nice so instruction manual for the controller on how to use it so full plethora pretty much so you can play every game because you know a lot of these games had different controls and such uh not your standard like six button probably select start an additional button right there so we'll see but d-pad a little stiff definitely not doing any fireballs on this if the street fighter capcom games were on it but it's very lightweight not nothing serious Nice little grip handles though, you see the little grooves right there, so that's nice. So that's the first controller, the Egret 2 Mini. Now this is the trackball one, this is really cool for games like Arkanoid to play in the way they were meant to be played, so. Ooh, nice, and then an SD card with a little slot, 10 additional games right there. Oh yeah, this is, this is, it's a big boy right here. A lot bigger than the other controller, we'll run through that. Side by side, this is the much bigger controller. Two buttons here, trackball. A little small, not a lot of spin to it, but probably good enough for the games that this comes with. And then your turn. Oh nice, it actually has a little bit of resistance on it, so. It's like a cheap plastic, it's like those little car knobs for changing your volume knob and such, but not bad, definitely not arcade quality, but this is definitely meant to stay on the ground and then, you know, play, spin right here for games like Arkanoid, so. And then we have another one that is a little mini fight stick. I can't wait for them to bust out little mini big blues that are a much smaller screen right there than these standing ones from Replicade. Oh, this one actually feels really hefty. Again, these are all USB-A. I'll try these on PC as well, see if they actually are registered at all. And also, I'll see if the Astro City Mini fight stick that came with the Sega will plug into this and work as well. But right now, this actually feels good. A little bit heavier than the other ones. I should start getting a weight scale for this stuff, so. Seems uh, very playable to check some games out and have your buddies play, like one person here, have HDMI out, and the fight stick there. So these are all the controllers right here. Pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. <laughs> And now, let's plug this in and see how it turns on, what it does, checking out the rotating screen, and then that'll do it for this hardware review of it. Ooh, the Egret 2 lights up right there. Right here you have the, right there, so a little flimsy actually, it doesn't really click right in, it doesn't feel stable, but you'll be able to slide in and out the marquee cards, so that is pretty cool as well. English settings. Sound, I believe there's no volume knob, so this is one of those where you gotta do it all through the settings menu. Oh yeah. This is actually a really, really high resolution screen. So these are all the games. E is the console setting. So there's no buttons on any of these, so you don't know. Let's see, oh, so you can sort right there. You've got sorting. None of these buttons do it. This, okay. So cool, D, A, so there are the buttons right there. So it tells you D, E, F, A, B, C on the bottom three. These don't have anything, but let's go back. All the games that you can run through. See how bright that goes. Do that. Volume settings. Not the loudest speakers, but gets the job done. Does have a headphone jack, so. Jeez, this is like going on a Disney ride. Demo settings, three minutes later. So we'll run a demo at three minutes or 10 minutes or not at all. But obviously when you have these in the background for show, you want them to be uh, basically running the demo at all times. So we'll keep three minutes on there. Ooh, I just noticed another setting right in there. 
So when you are connected, it's got HDMI wide, HDMI wallpaper, and HDMI turn. So turn probably when you're switching out the monitor and stuff. So but that would be cool when I do my software test of all the different games. Let's just boot up a game or two. So a lot of these games you're probably not gonna remember. Kaiser Knuckle, I do remember. Nice little fighting game right here. Booting up. Let's see how this plays on a fighting game pad. Light punch, medium punch, basic six buttons. And then it tells you, uh, down ABC will do faint. Ooh, boot time's a little slow. Wait a moment, I'm waiting. Little countdown timer, there we go. So I'm gonna guess that's the... Oh, so this is the options, the white button's the options right here. This is the credits, the blue button right there. And then we've got start is that one. Again, resolution's really cool. Now I wanna see if I twist this, what happens? So you can only twist it one direction, so you gotta be very careful. So, oh, perfect. So it actually, you can turn it either way if you want, so you can switch quickly between them. This mechanism seems really cool if you can kind of see in there. That's still the shmup screen, then four by three back to that. Still, I think that's very cool to be able to do that. Responsive, so. Nice little Tatsu right there. So I'm able to perform everything just fine. Let's plug in the fight sticks, see how much easier it is. Now, always the question with these things is, can you mod them, especially the SD card slot, uh, to see what happens? So we're gonna, after this one. Oh, so because I plugged it in, there's a second player, whoops, yep. So it's actually dedicated slots, one player and second player, unsaved. So it obviously has all your standard save states and everything, so. Beautiful screen, to be honest to you. And again, I love the size difference on this, so. So basically Balrog with a dash punch. Balrog, if you didn't know, is my main character in street. Oh my God, that's a back forward like, oh my God. Oh, I lost to the PC in my first game. So uh, let's get out of this game right here. So everything's playable here. I kind of want to try a shoot em up and see. So that's sideways. We need one that's going to go up and down. But let's see what happens when I turn this thing off. Oh shit, it has a little animation when you turn it off. That's cool. I'm gonna pop in this SD card, see what happens. Nice, so it's got a really nice tight fit for the SD. It's literally completely in there. I like that. I hate when SD cards are kind of sticking out. So uh, I plan to do a lot more uh, arcade cabs, collectibles and all. So please like and subscribe to the CEO Gaming channel. I actually really appreciate it. Just so cool though. You know what, we're gonna unplug this controller. We're gonna try this thing that came with the card. So right there, having it, please connect paddle and trackball. So it's actually forcing me to connect the paddle and trackball. So if you put in the SD card, it forcibly loads those additional games. So that is pretty cool. So you're not confusing yourself or, so this controller alone just is basically specifically for those additional games. So you can actually use the trackball to move the menu and everything. So that is pretty cool again. So there's no shoot em ups with this. Okay, there's that one. So everything's basically trackball. Oh gosh, that's like a marble madness right there. I would like to see the gameplay show on a full screen rather than the titles, like too much space using up showing just the text instead of what's over there. So so let's try Arkanoid Returns, one of my favorite games ever. Pretty cool, honestly, this is a great way to play these games the way they're meant to be in a mini form factor. So I really enjoy that. Oh gosh, that is very, that is very uh, loose to say the least. Like it's very sensitive. I wonder if you can change that. Yeah, that takes some time getting used to, but it's cool that with this SD card, you specifically have to use it to play these games, so. But again, Arkanoid, you know, as simple as this game is, it was a classic back in the day. Oh, Jesus, multi-ball. So it would be cool to see them add additional games at some point. I'll obviously have to keep up with the Japan website of Amazon. Uh, Arkanoid Returns, game difficulty, attacks, attract sound, paddle adjust. Okay, so there, that's helpful. Paddle adjust is probably the, because uh, that out of the gate was a little rough to play with. Paddle adjust, let's go to one and see how sensitive that is there. Much better, Le a lot less sensitive. So yeah, way easier to control. So two might be better now that I play it. It's not as sensitive as I'd like, so you really gotta put force into it. Laser beams. Oh, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, yay! There you have it, the Egret 2 Mini. I think it's cool. Let's actually back out of the menu and see what happens. Let us take the SD card out while it's plugged in and see what happens. Do not remove SD card, oh shit. Oh God, that's probably worth the purchase. I think so. The shipping a uh, little puts it over the top of the amount of stuff that comes with it, the little marquee cards and everything. Let's, super impressed, this thing is beautiful, so. Check it out, uh, tune in for part two of this review where I go over all the software uh, and uh, really uh, play through. But check out part two of my software review where I run through all the games and I hope you enjoyed this. Take care until next time.